Mattel doesn't do a lot in the way of cars to these days, especially the espionage spy side of the movie. They'll still do World Grand Prix racers. They'll obviously still do Lighty McQueen with racing wheels every year, almost in every case. But they really seem to shun the spies, the lemons, and kind of honestly the more fun side of that movie that's grown on a lot of people as the years have gone on. Obviously when it first came out, people were not happy, too different from the first, not enough racing, blah, blah, blah. But now after Cars 3, Cars on the Road, people look back on Cars 2 with a much fonder eye, myself included. I never disliked the movie. I always very much so liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was right in the peak of like my childhood when I was super into it all. And obviously I still am, but just, you know, in that kind of like naive childish sense. So yeah, it's great to see that Mattel still appreciates and sometimes will release the spies. And this year they did even do a couple lemons, Vladimir Trunkov and Tubbs Pacer. That's a big step. Hopefully it's a good sign going forward. They did a couple minis as well, but today we're going to review the newest Thailand variants of Fimic Missile and Holly Shifla because they've changed these guys so many times, especially Holly over the last few years. Obviously, we know that they've struggled getting Holly Shifla's color right ever since her first release in 2011. This is how she started off. Then they did her Electroshock variant in this like pinkish color. Then in 2020, I don't know where this came from. But they did her in like a red magenta, which is just so out of left field. And then finally, in an Amazon starter pack in 2021, it seems like they finally got her right with, or at least closer to right with this shade of purple that they did now also re-release in 2023 here. And on the Fimic Missile side of things, they had done a Palace Danger Thailand variant of Finn over the last couple years in 2020 in that five pack I just mentioned. And so it was honestly a surprise that they did regular Finn this year in 2023. So I need to open that one up. This one's gonna stay packaged because I already have this one out. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun little dual review. Doesn't happen a ton on the channel here. So let's dive right on in. Before we get into it, I wanna shout out Get Me Collectibles. I'm sure he has these for sale. So if you need them, head on over to his eBay store linked in the description below. And if you want anything specifically, you could also email him like a case or whatnot. So let's just get right into it. Now, my memory's a little foggy, but I think Finn debuted in case D this year. Not sure if he's reappeared since. I know Holly has. Holly debuted in case C, though. Yes, that is correct. Finn, though, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were both in multiple cases. I know Holly was, but I'm not entirely sure about Finn. Like, I think Holly's in case M, which is like the last case of the year, the newest one that's in Australia right now. But either way... You got the classic Fimic Missile artwork, which just looks great. I love how it looks on the card here. Really, we've taken for granted, you know, some of these more iconic characters. So it's really nice to see them still in the line, you know, over 10 years after the movie came out. So yeah, really cool. Michael Caine just announced, I think, last week or so that he's officially done with acting, which is sad. I mean, he's a great actor. I just watched him in something. You know, he was Alfred for some of those Batman movies, which was cool. There was something else I watched him in, though. Can't remember, though. Now, this is kind of a weird background or a card back because it mixes, it bleeds together 2022 and 2023 releases. Like, you have Artist Ramon, which is last year, but then you have Raul Sarul, Jeff Corvett, Suki, all are this year. I think these other three we're in both. Francesco, I'm a little unsure of, but Lewis, no, Lewis was last year. Lewis was last year as well. Sheriff, obviously both. So yeah, very weird back here. I don't understand what they were going for, but at least everything is correct. Like all this is, you know, as seen in Cars 2. So good job there because sometimes they get that wrong. Although I can't remember the last time they got one wrong. They've been doing a pretty good job since I think they blew one last year. But ever since that, they've done a pretty good job with these. So kudos to Mattel. Then you have Holly Shiftwell here. Both of these I've been able to find quite a few of in the stores. Only Walmart, though, that is because, of course, yeah, 
Target did not get in cases C or D. They went from B to E to L. And there are like some very obscure rare reports of people finding cases F and J, but definitely not in bulk. But yeah, Holly looks really good. And like for once, like this kind of does match this because when you know this was released in 2020, it didn't match at all. Like people are scratching their head, like, what the hell were they thinking with this? Her card back is the exact same as Finn's, but instead of Lewis, it shows Finn. And it shows a blatantly Chinese stock image of him because you could see the mouth plate there, a blatant separation between that front piece with the crack and then the main metal body. That's a huge indicator. You can even kind of see it there on Francesco. Another thing with Francesco's stock images is that he always has these much more intricate and accurate side view mirrors that pop up and then protrude out. But the ones on the die cast are literally just some nubbins that are on his body. So yeah, there's that. I will be right back now with just Finn opened up. I can't open Holly. She's meant to stay in the package. Did any of you guys see Across the Spider-Verse a couple months ago? I know this is super random, but there's that one scene on the train when Miles is getting pounded into the train by Miguel, and he goes, well, I did kind of lure a whole bunch of spider people away from your clubhouse. That's what I feel right now, looking in the background at all these Hollies and Finns away from their proper location in my collection on display. I don't know, it just is funny to me. I really do love that scene, though. Like, that is a great scene, great movie, great trilogy, hopefully. I mean, the third one's yet to come out, but the first two were absolute bangers. Let me know in the comments if you've seen those movies. They are great, but you guys know that I'm an absolute Marvel fan, crazy fan, actually. You know, almost as much as Cars. Almost, almost as much as Cars. But yeah, it's great to see these two together. I will toss an image on the screen of both of them together. Probably multiple points from Cars 2. Tokyo Party, Porta Corza, yeah, London. They really bonded. You know, they made for a good team. Obviously, Mater included on that as well. Would love, love, love to see one of them pop up in a future project, even if it's a cameo. Like, I honestly almost made a video one time saying Finn and Holly were the ones that called Mater at the very end of Cars 3 in that post credit scene where he goes, ah, technology. I know it was probably not intended for that. It was just like a little tagline at the end, but man, I must say... The sound that that made was very similar to the sound that like Holly's little beeper makes when Siddeley lands in Radiator Springs at the end of Cars 2 and he's like, or she's like, we gotta go, you know? Like the sounds are similar, they're different, but they're similar, okay? So anyways, maybe I still will make a video on that because it still kind of excites me. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Now, I did already talk about Holly pretty extensively in the prototype prestige video of her on this bad boy right here, or bad girl. This is one of my favorite prototypes of all time. You got the Hot Wheels or Matchbox tires going there. So check out that review linked in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner where I almost, you know, basically do an all variations of Holly Shiftwell video. So yeah, check that out there. We won't be going through the prototype, but still I want to show, you know, the main versions here of Holly. So this is not the first version that came out in 2011 because of course it was a unibody or it was absolutely the opposite of that. It was the segmented mouth plate version. This is a unibody here. I mean, kind of. The back is always still been even nowadays, segmented. I don't know why they do that, but it's always been like this. Yeah, so this one's from 2013, the, what would that be, 11th day of 2013. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, at the EAA factory in China. So yeah, this is one of the newer versions, I guess, like relative, because the first ones had the mouth blade. It really looked ugly in my opinion. This is a nice holly still, like the color is solid. But from 2016 to 2020, they had no idea what they were doing with her color. But I still will argue that this is the much superior version of her. Although I also will say, <laughs> I've had bad luck quality control wise with these Hollies. Take a peek here. You got like these smudges. 
right there and there. There's like almost one right there. They're weird, like weird paint blemishes. Obviously not a scratch, but just like very clear blemishes of some sort. And then if you look at the one I have in the package here, she got shot in the eye. Like you could even see the chip floating on there. Like it's so weird. Like look at that right in the eye there. <laughs> got poked, absolutely poked. But yeah, still got the green eyes, same expression. Mouth's a little bit shorter, it appears, similar headlights there. The rims are a little shinier. They kind of have a glaze to them now, which is nice. The side view mirrors here are plastic pieces. You got the H logo there. I love that logo for Holly because it's got the H and then the S through it. It's almost like a baseball logo, like the New York Yankees with the N and the Y or the Dodgers, the LA. But it's very modern, sleek looking. Very subtle too. It's not blatant. You got it on the back there. You got her other emblem there in the center. 10L, HSI, 12, oh no, that's HS1201. The voice actress Emily Mortimer of Holly Schiffwell's birthday, I believe, is December 1st. And so that is what that is representing. Eight days before my birthday, but probably a good amount of years as well. <laughs> I think Emily Mortimer has got to be in her like 50s. And I am turning 23 in a couple months here on December 9th for all you wondering out there. Now, I do have to say, I still appreciate this absolutely horrible version of her, like horribly inaccurate, but it's almost like an alternate paint job. Like you could think of this as a video game alternate paint job and that's not so bad, right? Like you go into the car's video games, whether it be the old ones or the newer ones from the mobile apps. And there are some paint jobs like these, like there's a Sally where you change the colors on her. There's no decals. There's no like racing decals. It's just simply a color swap. And this reminds me of that because it is so, so different and so, so wrong. And there's no denying it. Like Mattel, what were you doing here? I don't know what happened. Probably some sort of just complete bamboozling in the paint department. This is pink, guys. She's purple. I mean, I know you've struggled with the color before, but I don't know, we'll talk about it. We've talked about it before. There's not much else to go on about but these two are very similar both have like the glazed shinier wheels because they are both from thailand this was the first version of holly they did from thailand so you have also like the opaque windows in there but yeah i mean look at it is just abysmally but then again you could also say it's so cool because like it is so crazy different like can you guys believe they release these as the same item like they called these the same thing like this says holly shiffle on the card the one in 2020 said the holly shiffle too it's not like it said pink holly shiffle like that's just how crazy it is like i don't remember anything that crazy bad like even though they released fred big in the past and then they made him small and then they sized him up again that's not as bad as this. They've made plenty of mistakes in the past that they've corrected. You know what? Doug Crankle might be worse. What do you guys think? Is Doug Crankle worse? I almost give them a better pass. I actually do. I definitely give them a better pass for Doug Crankle, the zombie car, instead of Holly, because we know from the color changers version of Doug that the artwork Pixar supplied them originally showed him being gray. So Mattel went the full production with him being gray and wasn't able to change that on the color changer or the regular before it was too late. So I give him a pass there, but Cars 2 had been out for nine years. They knew exactly what color she should have been. But here you have the 2016 Electroshock device version of her. This was actually a relatively rare version of her that year. I think it was in the case with Mater with Balloon and Austin Littleton. I think that was case H or G or something. Came out in the spring. I love the expression. Like, it's a great expression. It's a pretty cool release, too. Not the, 
I mean, it's a pretty clunky electroshock device because it's got this whole unnecessary bar right there. But yeah, the color I think is worse. Like, <laughs> excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm still recovering. It went from this to this to this to this. I think this was better than the one they went to in 2016. But it definitely has a little bit more pop to it. It looks good. It just looks like you look at your Holly Shiftwell collection, assuming you have them all. It's so incongruous. Like you got, you know, all the shades of purple and magenta in there. But yeah, overall, cool to see Holly back. She looks good. Zoom in on this little emblem here. Let's take a look at it. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why they make this back part plastic, but yeah, cool car. Don't like all the smudges on mine, but what are you going to do? I ain't going to do none. Can't do none. And then here we have Fimic Missile, the one I was really excited about because this is a new variant that I you know, hadn't opened yet. Here is the Palace Danger version that they did in 2020 and the 2021 five pack. Now here is like an original 2011 version of Finn that's segmented. You can see it's got the ugly, ugly mouth plate here. That's a slightly different shade of blue, or bluish silver. Like it just looks so different. Like look at that versus that. So different. Very ugly. Like it's better if you're going to do it, put it in the back like Holly. But yeah, they did eventually switch him to, you know, a one piece or even with the eyes. Like see the eyes are a separate piece here. They do have a one piece. I just, you know, don't have that on hand right now. I like showing off the rough side of Finn here, you know, because now he looks really good. And in fact, the 2013 Palace Danger version of him is one piece. You know, the eyes are all part of the main male body. The mouth is too. Definitely one of the best expression changes on a die cast of all time. Determined Lightning McQueen included, you know, all the maters they've done with slightly different expressions. The flow, the Fillmore from Radio Springs Classic. This one's the best. I mean, he is shouting. It's so accurate to the movie. I like he's looking off to the side. And just a clean looking car. So clean. So then when we got this one, 2021, it arguably has maybe a more unique shade of blue or silver now. I will give them that. Like, I think it might be slightly more accurate. But now, again, we're back to the segmented piece for the eyes. But everything still does look pretty good on him. So it ultimately comes down to, you know, what color you like better. And I guess the eyes are a little different there in terms of the positioning. So, yeah, there's that. I did review this guy back in the day. In fact, the case he was in, this is a little fun fact for you, docket lore. He came out in the case with Ernesto in 2020, lockdown year. My case unboxing for that case, whatever leather it was, is the most viewed case unboxing on my channel of all time. It's got like 800,000, I think, maybe. It's incredible. It's insane. I appreciate the support. And it is kind of wild that out of like all the cases I've done with like eight new cars, five new cars... The one that had one new car and one new variant and that one new car Ernesto, like everyone hated because it replaced Sequoia and it's just another trainee, another yellow one, be it the second yellow one, somehow attracted all the views. I don't know. I don't know. It's the algorithm, guys. But yeah, anyways, back to Finn here. Lots of tangents. This is a long video for two cars. But yeah, the expression is way better. It's, you know, just a little bit more realistic looking, I think. The eyes are a little bit more vibrant. So, yeah, I do like this variant a lot. I'm so glad that they didn't just keep pounding us with the Palace Danger version of him. Not to mention, whenever they did do that, they would just call him Finn. They wouldn't say Palace Danger Fimic Missile. They would mislabel him as just regular Finn. So, don't like that. I do like his little M logo here. That looks good. He's got the plastic side view mirrors like Holly. And also similarly to Holly, her, or his wheels are a little shinier, a little glazed up versus the Chinese version there. So James Bond-esque. Like you just can't look at Finn and not think about James Bond. And I, I really do like 
the last couple James Bond films. The Daniel Craig ones, like I think Spectre, like Skyfall, Spectre, and No Time to Die are incredible. I think that, yeah, No Time to Die is probably the best, but like Spectre is pretty gosh darn good too. Skyfall is solid, but I just, oh man, I don't know. I mean, the last two are just so good. I need to watch Spectre again, but yeah, good films, good films for sure. Now, I will say the license plate is a downgrade. It looks like very spotty. Like it looks like some of the lettering's fading away, which is bad. 314, March 14th is Michael Caine's birthday. So, Fimic Missile, CFMCM. So, Fin Mick Missile. And if you want, read it backwards MC Michael Caine. So, lots of stuff going on there. You got the red taillights, look good. You do have the one piece here because, again, you could see there's a split between the bumper and the main metal body. For here, the bumper is the only separate piece, but that little bottom part is still part of the main metal body. You got the M logo again, which looks good, but the license plate's really poor, really bad. But maybe that's just realism. You know, the license plate's not going to be in tip top shape with all the battle that Finn's engaged in. But yeah, let's take a look when this guy was made. I got this guy, oh, you know what? Yeah, Case D, so earlier this year, probably was made in 2022. I'm going to go with 47, yeah, 47 as the number. Oh, no, SO6A, I was off by like, oh, man, that's bad. So he was made this year, sixth week. Man, that's crazy. That's kind of crazy, dude, because this case was already starting to show up well before the sixth week. Like, I remember I unboxed case D in mid-January, which was only like the third week of 2023. So this must have been a later version of that that I found in the stores. Yeah, probably. Oofy, oopsy, oopsy doopsy. All right, guys. Yeah, what do you guys think about Finner here? I like him a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And then can't not show you guys my favorite version of Finn here with the magnetic tires. So underrated. I think I did review him within the last few years though. No, maybe it was this one that I reviewed, which is also another good one. Love the expression on there. But yeah, lights and sounds don't work on him anymore, but I don't care. He's still got the double guns and the magnetic tires just looks so awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Fun little video here. I do want to give a little shout out to the Cars Garage for putting the bug in my head on this video. I knew I wanted to review Finn, and I was just kind of putting it off, putting it off. And then he reminded me that I probably should review Holly Schiffwell as well, even though I did do him or do her in the Prototype Prestige video. It's kind of like hidden. No one knows to go there to look for that. And to pair these two together, it's like the power couple. The platonic power couple is what this is. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you guys Saturday for another video. Bye now.